Ooh. Hurts more on the inside. You tried this one before? Have you, have you tried this in the self-harm communities? You often have people suggesting that you try an alternative form of self-harm. Something that isn't as detrimental, something that doesn't isn't likely to, to cause you to, to bleed out. The problem is this will never work. Finding a, another form of, of damaging yourself will, will never fix the reason why you're damaging yourself. If you're cutting yourself and you don't know why you're cutting yourself, you can do you can do any number of things as a replacement therapy. I've tried lots and lots of different things as a alternate form of self-harm and to be i'm just gonna be honest i don't think any of them really work and i'm gonna i'm gonna do what i can to try and explain why going back to this for a second if you think this will satisfy your need to cut yourself you might be oversimplifying why you're cutting yourself and that's that's an important thing because this is only solving one part of a complicated puzzle it'll satisfy something very short term but again it's only, it's only covering one aspect of something that's probably much more complicated. The moment you've cut yourself one time and you're going back to cutting yourself, there's a, sh a strange competition that exists there. Not only are you com like competing with your very last time cutting or, or maybe your best time cutting, you're competing with the scars that, you're, that your last time cutting left on your body you know so 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 if you if you cut yourself and it's very very light there's a part of you that that feels not good enough like you didn't commit this time and if you're trying to use this as a replacement this is completely missing so many different pieces because cutting is a different monster than than smoking cigarettes it's a it's a different monster than than, than biting yourself or burning yourself because there's so many small moving parts and each of those small moving parts is, there's a reason why you want them. Like, okay, yes, you wanna feel pain, but on top of that, you want blood. But on top of that, you want the after effect of scarring. And if you're simply trying to find a way to give yourself pain, when, when now you're gonna be missing blood and scarring, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have a long lasting effect. By the end of this video, I wanna give you a, a viable long-term solution to cutting yourself, but before that, we have to look at some of the reasons why cutting is, is satiating something for you and why cutting is this long-term solution or, or why it's a solution at all. Because w when you think about it, like when you really think about cutting as a, as a practice, as an addiction, it's kind of like smoking, but it's not because it, it has more obvious immediate bad side effects. It has more obvious negative social stigmas to it. The problem is it it doesn't compare to any other addiction I've I have ever been addicted to. Like I've been addicted to, to drugs and alcohol and smoking and you know and pornography and movies and and lots of other uh, video games. I've been addicted to lots of things. Cutting was like the most difficult thing to stop doing because it was it was something that I was doing but it also gave me a stronger form of identity. Like smoking, sure, there's a smoker identity and you can hang out with the smokers and you can go to the garbage area of Disneyland, you know, and, and all the rest of the people who are smoking are there. But but there's a problem with 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 cutting. It's it's an identity within yourself. You know, and 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 and, and part of it is you're attempting to transfer internal traumas to the surface for various reasons. I mean, one of those reasons could be attention. That's a real simple one. And I know I know that a lot of cutters don't wanna recognize that there's the possibility for getting attention or that the reason why you're cutting is to get attention. And if someone says you, you're cutting yourself because you want attention, I know it sounds like, well, that means it's the only reason you're doing it. If I ever met anyone who was cutting themselves <laughs> and the only reason they were doing it was for attention, uh, my mind would say that's a very damaged person because this is someone who's willing to subvert their ability to survive, you know, like taking a chance at bleeding themselves out. No, there's, there's gotta be something more there. No one who simply wants attention is cutting themselves. If you're cutting, there's probably at least three things you want. You want the pain, you want the blood, 
but you also want the after effect. You want the scars, that scab tissue that forms in that area. You're trying to satisfy a need to feel pain for, for whatever reason. Maybe maybe you think you did something wrong. Maybe, maybe you recognize you're guilty of something. Maybe you felt too happy or too excited about something. And, and you know, you need to bring yourself down from that. There's a whole bunch of different reasons why you make that initial initial cut or why you initially feel the need to start cutting again but once you've done that once you've made like the the, the decision you're going to start cutting you're going to start chopping into your skin it's a it's a visceral thing it's not like continuing to finish a cigarette i go back to cigarettes often because cigarettes is something that i did for a long time i smoked for probably more years than i cut myself and, and they are similar there is something about smoking where, where I'm like, you know, I know I'm killing myself. And in fact, I like it. I, I'm looking forward to, to, the, to the, long, the long death of lung cancer I get to, to face, you know, some years in the future. Cutting's different though. Cutting's much more immediate. Cutting is something that like, like right now in this present time, I'm going to pull forward damage and bring it present onto my skin. So. It's visible to me and anyone who sees me that I am damaged. There's a, there's a big part of cutting that is your history of cutting. And and I'm not even talking about like the social group of people who cut and, and, and a comparative sense where you're, you're interacting with another cutter and you're worried that they're not gonna think you're a real cutter because you only have baby scars and they have big scars. Like, I'm not even talking about that. I'm only talking about the relationship of cutting that you have personally with your own cutting is when you finish whatever your session of cutting is there's this denouement this this sort of resolution where 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 you kind of you kind of have this you have this moment where you go okay I, i'm good now i got enough of it out i have enough blood showing and i know that some of these are going to make good scars like i know i broke skin open well enough in some areas like i can see where my where, where my skin is kind of broken from one area to another, that this isn't gonna heal well. And that's going to, that's going to last a, a, a bit of time. Back to reasons. If you don't understand the reason why some of these things are interesting, the short-term benefits, slightly longer term, and then the very long term in the scars, if you don't understand why these things are, are needed in you, like, like, how they're going to symbolically help you connect to your inner turmoil you'll keep doing it for years you could be you could be cutting yourself for for for, for decades and there's really no way to stop doing that thing because unfortunately it is satiating you know okay so do you have this moment where you where you make a blunder with a friend and the friend gets in an argument with you and then you feel bad and then you feel like you need to be punished and and then you do punish yourself. And then your friend sees that you have punished yourself and, and there is some sort of effect there. And, and, and maybe there's even a way that you actually get out of having a conversation with them because they feel bad now. And, and, and you know, maybe it makes the relationship worse. And now you have to cut yourself again. And, and each time there's some satiation where you start doing the thing before you fully understand why you're doing the thing. And then it's not very long before that, uh, it's, it's, not very, it's not very long after that, where you start fantasizing about the terrible things that, that happened to you, the terrible ways that, that your life could turn out. If you don't understand the reasons why you're cutting, if you don't understand the reasons why you may want blood, why you may want pain, and why you may want scars, this will never satisfy that. You know, and and, and 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 neither will biting or putting cigarettes out on your skin. There is something that, that that's always going to be missed there, because the cutting has a bit of a, a long-term effect, as as I've explained. You know, you've got like that scabbing period, and then you've got the point where it turns into scars, and then you can feel the scars while they're trying to heal. Still, unfortunately, that behavior is unsustainable. It obviously has a detrimental effect both long-term and, and short-term. There are, there are social effects that, that, it, that, it can, that it can manifest in your life. Uh, and there are long-term effects where, you know, if you're someone who's cutting yourself, you might also be someone who's refusing to read books or to learn things or to be on time to work. You know, you, you might also have trouble with relationships or, 
or, or, or being happy in a relationship, this aspect of your life is probably going to show up in a lot of other places. If you're cutting yourself, you might not be brushing your teeth. You might not be taking showers as often as you should. You might not be exercising. If you're not trying to understand what is causing this desire to, to injure yourself, to bring pain forward, it's, it's gonna always be there. I, I speak to the benefits of, of Jordan Peterson's lectures often, and I'm going to do it again today. Just the mention of Jordan Peterson is is like a trigger word, or, or I, I should be posting trigger warning across the uh, the thumbnail of this video. Regardless of what your, your feelings of Jordan Peterson are, I'm going to recommend at least one of his videos. You can just look up Jordan Peterson's self-authoring. If there's some aspect of your life that you don't understand and you would like to understand it, try writing it down. Like ask yourself a question. Say, why am I, why am I cutting myself? If you want to understand it, ask yourself a question and then and then do everything you can to answer that question honestly. You know, and, and, and it might take you writing out a few different drafts. And it, as it as it did with me when I first started writing, I, I you know, I, I jumped to conclusions sometimes. And then other times I just wasn't honest. And other times I, I wrote what I thought uh, other some other someone else would want to read. And it took me a few different drafts to come up with the reason uh, for example, why I, I loved playing Hearthstone so much, you know, and it actually, it had to, it had to do with the fact that I was abused when I was doing math as a kid. And it took me a while to come to that, uh, that version of the story, essentially, or that version of a draft where I went, oh, you know, it's because I got beat when I was doing, um, long division and math is, is frustrating for me. So I, I play Hearthstone and, and trick myself into doing math. If, if you're looking for an alternate form of coping, and, and you're done with self-harm, or, or you'd like to be done with self-harm, seriously consider writing. You know, just take a, take a few minutes out of every day and, and, and make yourself a, a list of the reasons why you think you need to cut yourself, or ask yourself a question. Why do I deserve pain? What is the thing I'm trying to bring onto my skin? What internal trauma do I have that, that, I'm, that I'm attempting to, 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 to wear? You might find that the reason why you're cutting yourself is, is more related to some old childhood or, 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 or teen or adolescent experience that you haven't quite figured out. And, and maybe there's something that you're trying to bring forward. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, often, it's often not as simple as you want attention or you want pain or or you just deserve it. It's, it's, I mean, it's possible all three of those things. You set up some system of, uh, of accountability, you know? Before you're allowed to pick up your knife, before you're allowed to pick up the razor blades or whatever else, you have to take five to 10 minutes to write down the reasons why you wanna cut yourself right now. You have to take, you have to take a few minutes, have a cup of tea and, and write down the, the, thing that, the thing that's irking you. You know, try and figure out what has just triggered you to, to want to wear your pain on the surface. I'm certain that you will that you will find something in your writing. You'll find some old childhood trauma, some old experience of, of sexual trauma or, or 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 some abuse that has laden itself inside of your inside of your soul and you're attempting to bring it to the surface. Through your writing, you might be able to take control of this of this addiction. Anyways, I'll come back to self-harm later. This is specifically a, a discussion about cutting. Um, if you'd like to hear my thoughts on, on other forms of self-harm, post them down in the comments. If you've found ways that you've been able to stabilize your own cutting as a habit, post it down in the comments. I'd love to hear how other people have stopped harming themselves. I made a video a few weeks ago that listed five steps that I took to stop self-harming behaviors. And that covers cutting, but it also covers some of the, the more mental associated self-harm systems that I had adopted. Like, I mean, I didn't read for years, you know, like I'm nothing more than video games. Anyways, if you'd like to see that, I'll post a link in the description and it's probably the video that's gonna pop up here on the screen in a, in a moment. If you like this video, Please hit the like button, share it with someone you know. Uh, if you know anyone who is who's struggling with self-harm or with cutting, 
uh, please send him a, a link to my channel or, or to this video specifically, I suppose. May God be with you. I know he loves us.